bloated and decomposing fish. It's what's left of the hundreds that were dying in this area of the Indian River Lagoon just days earlier. And while it's not the worst fish kill this area has ever seen, biologists say with rising temperatures, it certainly won't be the last. On the shores of Sebastian's main waterway. Indian River Lagoon. Ray Martinez walks by the docks, a place he comes often. Yes, I do. I love to fish. That's why I moved over by the coast and, and I do it as much as I can. Right now, he doesn't see anything that's too concerning. No, no, not today. But that wasn't the case just a few days earlier. No, not at all. I actually uh, went out early in the morning on the weekend, and um, I noticed there was a lot of fish gasping for air on the surface. Ray taking this video south of the Sebastian Yacht Club. And you can see some of them have died. Capturing what the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission says is a fish kill in the lagoon, killing hundreds. We saw snook and we saw flounder and we saw um, sheep's head and all these, these important game fish. Dr. Zach Judd, director of education for the Florida Ocean Graphic Society, says a bioluminescent algae in the water called pyrodinium is the culprit. During certain kinds of algae blooms, the oxygen levels in the water can get so low that the fish literally suffocate, exacerbated by our high temperatures. Combine that with the runoff that likely seeped into the lagoon from Friday's flooding in Felsmere. And that creates a perfect storm. But with 25 out of July's 31 days under a heat advisory, his biggest worry isn't so much the flooding as the rising temperatures. We're not even in the hottest part of the summer yet. My concern is that we could start seeing this unfold more frequently. Dr. Judd says the hotter the water, the less oxygen in it, and the more the algae thrives. The outcome, he says, isn't looking good. We're starting to see temperature records being broken all around the planet. So if this is just a sign of things to come, I'm really worried about what the next phase of this is going to be. And so back on the lagoon shores. Oh, it's, it's a bit scary. Ray hopes something will change, knowing his city and all who live in it depend on that hope. Uh, nobody wants to have any kind of contamination whatsoever, as well as the wildlife. In Sebastian, Kate Hussey, WPTV News Channel 5.